Hey guys, it's Alvin Griffin with this. Welcome to another Skyline review. Uh, this is Skyline we're doing the fire and the water one. Fire here, water over here. Let's start with the fire. Here we have Series 1 Eruptor. The some of the other first because he, he's the most, I have the, more of him than anyone else. Series 2 Eruptor. I guess it's right here. Here we have Light Core Eruptor. Eruptor. Yeah. Um, the mouth. His mouth glows. He has Series 3 Eruptor, also known as Lava Box Eruptor. And so, yeah, him vomiting up um, lava is his new, is his Series 2 Wild Pal. Series, series 3, sorry. Series 2 Wild Pal is that his um, little um, lava balls are bigger and do more damage. Here he has Volcanic Eruptor. See, Volcanic Lava Box Eruptor. He was the he was the best by exclusive or something. He was exclusive somewhere. But yeah. He's nice. In the color. And his supercharge itself is Lava Lance Eruptor. A little biker helmet here and last here. He has a vehicle which I do not have, which is the burn cycle. Yeah. Hmm. And here we have Series 1 Ignitor. Little knight. Fire on his head. My sword. Here we have Series 2 Igniter. Flame Axe now. Flame Axe sword instead. Put the shield on his back. This go this 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 um the axe sword and the shield go towards his um combo tree or path. Here we have legendary igniter. Yeah, very special. Same design, just different colors. Here we have series one flame slinger. He's a draw. He's a blind draw archer, or elf, whatever. Cause he kind of looks like a uh, stuff elf, I guess. Is that a draw or an elf? I'm not sure. He has series two flame slinger. Yeah, goes towards his one of his other path. The three arrows. Here we have the Dragon Slash Phoenix of Fire, Sunburn. He is, even though he's a Phoenix, he is considered the Fire Dragon of. He's considered the Dragon of the Fire Skylanders. And to be honest, he's technically the only Fire Dragon. Um, the other ones, uh, the other ones I have on, te well, technically the other three are like are dragon like. Yeah, here we go. He only has one series, they never made series 2 or 3 for him. Alright, now for the, the character who appeared in the second game. First in the second game, Hot Dog. He has, a, his series 1 and series 2 both have two, both have a second variant. Um, it's supposed to be a yellow one for him, for him and a, the kind of, I forget what the other one was supposed to be, but the fire on the other one for the series 2 is blue, at least for the bone. Yeah, cute little dog. Here's yeah, series two, um, hot dog. This firebone hot dog. They call. Yeah. Now for the characters who appeared in the third game, we have Smolder Dash. This little fire princess lady here. Yep. 
you have light cores on the dash. Her hair, part of her hair back here lights up, and her eyes and up here lights up as well. Here we have Rhino. Who's a fun character to be? He has a temper in the game, so let's try to get him angry. Character. And here we have a series two. I forget how you call it. I think it's Hot Rod Rhino. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah. He's on his motorcycle. The two big wheels in the back here, and the one little wheel in the front. Big engines in the back. This is part of his wow power in, in um in the fourth game. Now we move on to character from the fourth game, which is Torch. Nice. I know you guys know what 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 this it's actually used for when um it's being used for fire when in like a blacksmith area type area. In a forge. For he made it to where the weed fire. He didn't leave. Well, she is a blacksmith, and you see by her hammer here. Here we have Trailblazer. The very first horse. Very first horse. Um. Well, one of two technically horses in all um, the Flanders. Um, before I move on to the minis, I'm going to show you the other supercharger, which is Spitfire, Dark Spitfire. He is dra he is dragon-like in his tail here and his wings. To be honest, he actually looks like, a, looks like one of the um like a mini version of uh, one of the bosses in the game called a Fire Viper. And he's very cool. And here is his vehicle, the, hot, the dark hot streak. This comes in the spit, both Spitfire, his his hot streak, and and the uh, it's actually called Super Shot stuff though. Uh, not Sure Shot. Uh, they all come in the starter pack. But since I got a Douglas and I got an extra vehicle, which I'll show in the last part of the days. Oh uh, yeah. Also, I found the, I forgot the name of the um uh, that Earth supercharger with with the um the guy with the uh ball the ball and the chain that he has his hand on. It's smash hit. And if we move on to the minis. We have Wee door, excellent Wee Wup door, Wee. Here we have Small Fry. Very cute. All the minis are cute. Now for the giant. The, the fire giant. Hothead. He was my second giant that I got in, in, the, in the game. He's, he's a fun guy. He, his hands are basically flames, like flamethrowers. He can control. He basically controls oil and fire at the same time. Now for the slot force. So I got four. I got two each for these characters. I got Hothead. I got Hothead. Uh, Bladstone. Sorry. I got Dark Bladstone. I got the dark pack for this. Firecracking. I'm gonna swap the um the, the dark. No, oh, hang on. I'm gonna swap these now. Yeah, fire zone. This is funny. And then blast cracking. And we got Jade firecracking. Fire zone and and dark fire and dark.
Jaws blast Kraken. Um, out for the only trap master I have for fire, which is him. I forget what his name is. Oh. Yeah, he had this, his titanium shield. He had fire in his hand. He has a dark version, which I never got. Which I actually wanted because it was cool. Like I said, I'll, I'll find out his name and I'll tell you guys in the next video. But now we want to the Sensei. So first we have Ember. Her, sword, her, her dual sword is, so, is very sharp. I think this side is more sharp than this one though. She's a Sentinel Sensei. Very cool. Here we have a, another villain turned sensei, Taekwon Crow. He went from so basically he used to be a he was a villain of the dark element in um in Trap Team, and in this he became a fire sensei. This is this is um not his actual one. This is like the special version that I got from GameStop. I forget what it's called, but. I'm just, I'm just saying Crimson Taekwondo, because that's kind of what it, it looks like. Yeah, there we go. That's the fire team. And now for the water team. Start off with Skill Grunt, Series 1. Yeah. That little, um, this water jetpack here. Yeah. Guild Grunt. Here you have a special series one Guild Grunt, which is green. He did not appear like this in the game. That'd be cool if he did, though. It's all green, except for the, the harpoon gun. Here you have series two Guild Grunt. Upgraded okay, harpoon. And. Upgraded jetpack. These are both two separate paths. Showing off both paths. And, um, the series 2 one basically shows both paths. Both of the, uh, the, the, the divine paths that you can take. So, yeah. Probably for all series 2 characters. And we have a special version of series 2, Guild Grunt. There's an actual name for what he is, but I forget what it's called. I just, I just call it Gold. Cause it looks gold. The whole figure is gold. Everything. You know, water, the harpoon gun, everything. Except for his eyes. And we have series three um go grunt. I forget what the name is, but it's oh yeah, um Enter the Way um Go Grunt. You know, it's a weird name but still. She's an anchor instead of a harpoon. That's good. The series 4 one is my favorite though. The Viathan Gilgrunt. This is a full, this is a fun wild pal. Yeah. yeah, this is actually out of, out of all the good ones I have, this is my favorite one. Thank you. Here we have Supercharger Kill Grunt. I forget what this is called, but he has a trident. He doesn't have his he doesn't have his he goes from a range attack to melee attack in, in this game. He has a better jetpack, he has a whole new outfit. I'll get to his vehicle in a bit. Um here we have series one Gilgrunt. Sorry. Series one Zap. Zap is the water 
you if he drank enough water in um in the game. Maybe not he doesn't really look like a dragon but to them he's a dragon. That's series one that. And here's series two of Zap. These tanks are different here. Everything else really is the same, except for the pose that he's in. Yeah. Here we have series one Slam Bam. He's a four on Yeti. That's, I know he. That kind of reminds me of the bully mongs in Borderlands 2, but because of the four arms. But yeah, he, he his series two is stronger though because of wow his wow power for it. Speaking of which, series two legendary slam I never got down his I never got his his normal series two. But this is his legendary one. Pretty cool. We have series one Wham Shell. I say series one because he, you know it's technically a what the next one the light core is still technically a series two, you know it doesn't have a wild power for it. Yeah, he has series one slam um Wham Shell. He's a crab thing with a mace or weapon. His combos are fun. Here's his light core self, which appears in the third game because blue base. His um, the top, the, this part of the mace, um, of spike mace glows. Yeah, pretty cool. Here we have the character who appeared in the second game, for water, chill. The series one. Arm feels weak. Yeah. You know she controls everything. If it's ice, it's considered water in in the game. So yeah, that's that's her and Slam Bam. Here we have Light Core, le le legendary Light Core. Um, chill. I forget what. Part of her actually glows here. Oh, her head's coming off. I think it might be um her weapon here that glows. Her head popped off. She's gonna. She. This is an old story. Old old figure. I'm gonna. I gotta be careful with her. Get some glue for that. Here we have series two chill. Yeah, better stat, better weapon, better shield, new armor in general, new colored armor. Yeah. Right here we have Three the two characters who appeared in the third game. We have Punk Shock. She like a she like a eel on with legs and arms. She has a knight, uh, her little crossbow here. She's a fun character. And this is I forget his name. I forget his name now too. Uh, see. But yeah, he he he's a fun character. He, his weapon is a swordfish, but his one of his other buttons and his, his um struggle button would be to switch switch um fish will be a hammerhead for heavy attacks. His triangle would be him for a slam a giant whale onto the um onto the battlefield. Yeah. I forget his name, to be honest. Alright, now for the character, the only character I have from the fourth game, is Echo. She's a seahorse. And she, 
basically what she does is she literally has sound waves of that spin. Basically, some people have, some people think that in the lore that she's technically Zach's girlfriend, but it's weird. But it's but whatever, I just go with it. Anyway, there she is. Now for the last supercharger, we have Dive Clocks. He has a special version, uh, the Crystal Toad Dive Clock, which is for Christmas. People will think that this is actually Eyeball's brother because of the eye he, the eyeball he has. Yeah, that's him. Now for the vehicles, we have Gil Grunt's su um, submarine. I forget what this is called. It doesn't say. And here we have Diaclops' stuttering. Wheel turns. Wheel on top turns the um, turbine. And now for the only mini I have for water is Gil Runt. So small. One tank, one little tank here. Now for the giant, which is Stumpbag, he is missing his ank the top of his anchor here. It fell off. But yeah, he his combos are kind of annoying to put. Are kind of, are, are, are strong, but they're annoying to put in because because how slow he swings his anchor and chain. But he did. He was. He was the one I got with the genie. Well, out of the last eight um, giants. Right there. I'm gonna bring these guys down here. Second, the second leader of the Splatterzone, and this guy are the leaders of, I think are the leaders of the, um, Swamp Force, but mostly he is. Last one I say is, like, second command. This is, um, Swashbuckler. Yeah. And he does come with a dark version, variant bar too. Yeah. Dark Swashbuckler. I'm gonna grab... These two, because they go together and swap them. We have Dark Blast Buckler and Dark Swash Zone. Yeah. Hey, if you're wondering what these symbols are, these are the but basically in the um in the game there are these activities that only certain um. Swap what Kel could do, he climb, like climb walls, race through the air, race on the ground, and where is firecracking? And um, and um, bounce on on certain to bounce on certain things, and there's also another one where you could where they could spin. Like a top, yeah. Like, uh, like a target. Here we have um, Freeze Blade, who is part of the speed, um, ground speed one. Wait, the race, ground race. He has a variant which I never found called Nitro Freeze Blade. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now for the Trap Masters of Order. Here we have the leader of the Trap Masters. Snapshot. Oh wait, now no, but now no, but this is um wildfire. That's his name. Okay. 
This is Snapshot, the leader of the trap team. He came in the starter pack with, um, uh, who was it? Uh, hey. It was him and someone else. One of the new characters. Um, oh, um, him and Food Fight came in, came in the, um, starter pack. Yeah, he has a dark one, which I never found. Because it was only available in the dark edition, which I never got. But yeah, um, it was fun. And here we have Rob Star, who also has a Christmas variant. So the Christmas one is always for the, is mostly for the warders. Except for, um, Bumble Blast. Yeah, he is, um, oh yeah. So, his tritanium, his tritanium is the bow and arrow. His are the stars. The star, the crystal starfish that he throws. Basically, when you re when you find a wanted a, a wanted escape enemy um bot enemy that you can trap, the tritanium weapon starts to glow. So that means that that that, that tells you when you're near someone. And here we have um the the sensei of water. Master Pen Pen That's what that dance has oh well, he's the leader of the uh, sensei. He is the most known one. Very first penguin Skylander. I have two of these. One from the PS3 version, one from the PS4 version. So yeah, that's that's water and fire. So tomorrow, after I come back from church tomorrow, I will do or maybe not, maybe. When I come back tonight or so, I'm not sure. Uh, t tonight or tomorrow, I will do the next two elements, which are air and tech. And after that, uh, the last two, which are light and dark and, cha and chaos, because he's, he's his own element. But until then, guys, peace out.